I'm out here in the woods again today and it is really windy it's like the windiest day it's been in a long time about 30 miles per hour but in the woods here it's not as bad been out here about five or six minutes now and I got my first signal and it's an old spoon well not old old but you know maybe 30s 40s just a nice old little spoon good start to the day let's go find some more I just got a great signal here showing up in the 70s check it out it's a nice brass lock plate off a dresser old dresser had a drawer on there and it locked or it just had the keyhole for decoration and that's very cool alright let's go find some more I found part to old blob top in the hole here I haven't even found the target yet I just eyeballed this pretty old turn of the century and then I have a signal marked Right here, showing up in the 50s. Let's see if we can pinpoint it. Something small. Might just be a bullet or jump. Tiny piece of aluminum. Trash. Look at that. It's a nice little comb. Curry comb, looks like. It's awesome. Neat fine. It's brass. Could have some writing on it. Some of them do. Alright guys, I just got a really good signal here. And it turns out to be a handgun. Check it out. There it is. Man. It's a small one. <laughs> but it's nice. Nice little pistol. That's something else there. It's like I had green paint on it at one time. <laughs> Pretty cool. Maybe you'll have some uh, writing on it when I clean it up. I'm at a different spot now. And I've only been here a couple minutes. And I eyeballed that right there. It's like an airsoft gun. It's not a real gun. Yeah. It's a airsoft gun. <laughs> Finding a lot of guns today, ain't I? Somebody broke that. Huh. Yeah. Just found me a really nice piece of silver here. Has stones in it. It's real for sure. I guess it went off a necklace, like I had a little hook on the end there and maybe on a necklace or bracelet but man that is really cool should have had a 7880 on AT gold and almost knew it was going to be something good or a coin or something that's sweet I just got a really faint signal here it was under this tree it was showing up like a 91 and you could just barely pick it up with the AT gold and it was down about 8 inches and I see it right here it's a silver quarter not sure what type don't want to rub. Oh man, it's a standing Liberty quarter. It's exactly what it is. That is awesome. Man, I have to clean it up with some water. But yeah, that's a standing Liberty quarter for sure. You can see the lady on there. Now get me some water and here, Chris, pour that water on it. Don't rub it though. Just let the water get it. See if there's a date on it. It's probably going worn off. Yeah. Yeah, that's a standing Liberty quarter for sure, man. They had a, a error with making them. That's why all the dates are worn off on most of them because they didn't make them right. Just found a silver plated button. Not that old. Just on the other side of this pine tree from the standing Liberty quarter I dug. Should have put a 47. I just got a killer 90 signal and it's an old brass lock I found them before they're made from like 1910 to 1912 I don't know I have to look it up again but they're from the early 1900s I only made them a few years or maybe 10 years or so but yeah they're nice nice brass 
Lock. I'll take it. Now with the AT Gold, I'm tearing it up today. Just got a really good 90 signal here, and it was a mason jar lid, but in the same hole, I found this little bottle from the 50s, old medicine bottle. Put your pills in or whatever. Used to find them all the time in my backyard when I first started out. That's neat. Little bottle. I'm out here digging bullets now at the shooting range. I probably have 100 or 150 in my pouch there and I'm just tearing it up pulling them out the side wall up here check it out there's so many bullets I'm just sitting down here and we're taking our pro pointers and checking up against the side wall here and, and I just found a nice fired one a minute ago but most of them are well they're all post-war some of them are Civil War but from the 1870s to the 1920s got a good signal here at the pro pointer and I dug out the side wall and I found two post-war through ringers right there and if you look up in the side wall there there's another one let's dig that one out there could be some more behind it yep look there's no one behind it could be more behind that all in one one area let's get the pro pointer that's it right there. But there they are, the two I just dug out. There's right there was the two, and that's the one I already had. But yeah, pretty cool. I mean, they're three ringers, but they're made after the war. Still cool to find them. Let's go dig some more. Well, here's all my finds from the day. We explored inside of old abandoned trailer for a little bit and found a little bit of stuff. We got some modern uh, jewelry all of it's fake sticks to a magnet watches some of them are from the 40s 1946 but this one right here is from 46 I'm pretty sure you see that but there's writing on there I've got a nice nice ring I mean it's fake but it has hearts on it it's pretty cool and here's the stuff I found detecting I got a bunch of bullets at the firing range most of them post-war, just about all of them. There's a post-war firing range, but it's neat to find them. I'm not sure how many that is. I got a my Standing Liberty quarter. Dateless. But it's nice, real nice. Nice to find silver. Uh, that button, that modern earring, silver earring. It's not that old. There's an old mailbox lock, a part off the dresser, a spoon, and a airsoft gun. It was broken. But yeah, it's been a pretty good hunt. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Good luck and happy hunting.